Oh, this is utterly dreadful. Having to walk all the way back to the office, and William took my death scythe. Oh, if he weren't so cute, I'd be so furious with him. Well, I am still furious, but the kind of fury that makes you want to kiss someone, not the kind that makes you want to murder someone or rip their throat out. Oh, but even so, he certainly does know how to create an utterly intolerable punishment, doesn't he? I suppose that's why he's the boss, but even then, I wonder, was he always this much of a rule-following prick, or is that something he acquired after the promotion? Not that I suppose he'd ever bother telling me, of course. After all, he likes to keep his personal life, if he even has one, separate from his— Oh! Goodness! Do mind where you're going, would you? Can't you see that other people are— Hello? Why are you staring at me like that? Are you— Oh, dear. Um, I swear, I can explain why my clothes are stained red like this. I— I beg your pardon? Oh, you think that I look— like if a cherry became a human? What on earth is your— Oh. Oh, I see now. You're swaying, and your speech is slightly slurred, beyond what would be normal if you simply had difficulty talking usually, which means only one thing is possible to explain this. Well— Technically, there are multiple reasons, but there's only one that covers everything. You are under the influence of some substance that numbs your senses. Oh, I see. You've had a few drinks this evening. Oh, dear. Well... I can't just allow you to wander the streets drunk like this, can I? After all, you are fairly attractive, and it would be a shame if such beauty were to die so suddenly. Well, is your name even on the to-die list? Because if it is, darling, well, I'm not going to stop you from potentially wandering into the path of an oncoming car or carriage, am I? Uh, you think that I look funny. And why is that? Oh? Do say that again, would you? You think that I'm dressed rather strangely for a woman? Did somebody put you up to this? No, no, not that. Not drinking so much. Did somebody dare you to come and talk to me? I certainly wouldn't put it past Ronald to find you while you were drunk and tell you to come over and talk to me. After all, nobody truly believes that I am a woman, even though I clearly am. Well, I am to myself, not to anyone else it would seem, so there's no possible way that you— how could people not realize that I'm a woman? That's a discussion that we'll save for when you're sober, assuming you live that long. Now, where was I? Uh, what's your name? All right, let me see. Oh. You aren't meant to die this evening. Well, then, I suppose it would make me... Rather rude if I allowed you to walk home in this state, especially all alone like this. Don't you have any friends with whom to walk? Oh? They all stayed at a party being hosted by someone else? And you didn't wish to remain there? 
Oh, I see. Drinking makes you sleepy, does it? Well, I suppose since you gave me the best compliment of my life, or afterlife, rather, I should give you the benefit of having someone with whom to walk home. Now, can you tell me where you live? Ah! That is... That is several blocks away. Nearly half a mile. You were going to walk all the way there while drunk? I am going to ignore the fact that you are perhaps incredibly insane and simply put my arm around you so that you don't fall while I walk with you. Uh, thank you. I did just acquire this jacket. Um, it's a rather interesting story, one that would probably make you run away screaming, but I can tell you if you'd like. Yes, um, it does also have to do with why my clothes are stained with red. Um, you see, you're not going to remember any of this, are you? Oh, thank goodness, then I can tell you this lovely but heartbreaking story. You see, you've heard of the murderer on the loose, haven't you? Jack the Ripper? Well, I happen to be one half of him. We were a pair, but then she decided that when her nephew found out who she was, she didn't want to kill the brat to keep him quiet. So I decided to deal with her. Yes, I killed her. Why on earth are you looking at me that way? No, no, I don't mind personally, but you're looking at me with awe instead of fear. You do realize you're walking next to a serial killer, don't you? Ugh. Typical mortal stupidity that is the reason why it was so easy for us to get away with it. Oh, but no matter. So, after I killed her, which, mind you, is how my clothes became blood-stained, I decided to take her jacket. After all, I do adore the colour red. It's so bright and full of fiery passion. So, I decided... Why let it go to waste on a corpse? Did I kill her nephew? Well, I was going to, but he also has a demon butler who happens to be rather attractive, only slightly more good-looking than you, although he is also a demon and he isn't actually that attractive normally, I would imagine, so... Truthfully, I don't know if it's just his disguised form that's attractive, or truly him, but either way, he was quite enjoyable to look at. So then I ended up trying to fight him in order to kill the bloody nephew, and I kept getting distracted by his stunning good looks, and I would have won the damn fight if my boss hadn't shown up at the last minute. Oh, you, uh, you don't know what I am, do you? Oh, you think I'm a rather attractive serial killer? Well, you aren't wrong, but that isn't what I do for a living. Can it even be called a living if I'm undead? Ugh, oh, no matter. What I am, darling, is a grim reaper... Yes, I know we're often portrayed as old skeletons with cloaks that cover our entire face, but I'm afraid that's not nearly as accurate as humans would like to believe. No, Grim Reapers are... how should I put this? Human souls who only 
exist in the afterlife because the humans um decided that they didn't want to be alive anymore yes precisely well i don't know how every grim reaper came to be only how i did and you are not getting that story no would you stop looking at me like that like you're some puppy who just got thrown out into the streets and now wants to come inside and feel warmth again i am not going to fall for the puppy eyes no no don't you do that don't Ugh. are you always this annoying or is it just when you're drunk you don't know do you well then perhaps i ought to visit you when you're sober if you can even keep yourself alive that long yes yes i know i said you're not supposed to die tonight but that only applies to the evening oh yes in case you weren't aware here's some news for you when your name is on the to die list midnight marks the next day just like it does normally for all the rest of the world so that means that if you die at midnight great you didn't die tonight you died tomorrow morning very early and technically still under the umbrella of night but still Ugh. i am not going to check to see if you're supposed to die tomorrow i said no oh really you'll give me something in exchange well the walk doesn't seem to have sobered you up and we are at your house so i suppose i could tell you so that if you are supposed to die tomorrow i can leave you alone to wallow in your own misery yes i suppose all right let me see good news you're not supposed to die tomorrow yes yes celebrate all you want but please take it inside no no you don't have to give me anything besides i don't think i would want anything you would what did you just ah i am never ever walking back to the office at night again